white tigers. They're so beautiful and majestic. Too bad they're genetic mistakes. Hey friends, Trace here for DNews. How do you feel about genetically modifying an animal for our own pleasure and entertainment? Probably not great, but depending on how you look at it, we kind of do this all the time. We breed dogs, cats, horses, and other animals to get genetic traits that we prefer. The difference is they're usually sustainable populations. White tigers, on the other hand, they're not. Records of white tigers date back to the 1500s in India, but a white tiger has not been seen in the wild since the late 1950s. Contrary to popular belief, White tigers are not albino, nor are they their own breed. They are the same Bengal tiger as the orange variety, with one just little difference. Researchers at the University of Peking sequenced the genomes of 16 orange and white tigers, and when they compared the results, they found the gene SLC45A2, previously linked to light coloration in modern Europeans, fish, horses, and chickens. In a tiger with the right gene mutation, SLC45A2 stopped the tiger's ability to make orange and red colored fur. Bam! White Bengal tiger, not Siberian tiger, Bengal. The chances of breeding a white tiger in the wild are about 1 in 10,000. And as the wild population of Bengal tigers decreases, the chances are slimming. So how have we been able to keep these tigers white since the 50s without an influx of new blood into zoos? That's why I'm so raw about white tigers and why this discovery is so important. Some zoos have been breeding them to each other to keep them white. As a rare genetic recessive trait, that means breeding brothers to sisters, mothers to sons, daughters to fathers. This practice has been outlawed by the American Zoological Association, but it's still practiced in some places. The interbreeding causes problems with the tiger's biology, crossed eyes, physical deformity, and really creepy family reunions. Why would a zoo breed a mom to a brother? For us, we are suckers for white tigers. We are inbreeding a majestic big cat species for our own giggles. But now that we know the gene, we can flip the switch on the DNA and maybe just make more white tigers without having to breed them to each other. This could help diversify this group within the endangered Bengal breed and perhaps someday they'll be able to reintroduce them into the wild. Did you know the white tiger was an inbred species? Now that you do know, how do you feel about it? Share your thoughts with us, and after you're done, visit testtube.com for more shows to fill you with awe. But just don't drool on the keyboard once your jaw drops. The keyboard doesn't, doesn't go with that. Thanks a lot for watching D News, everybody. I'm Trace. Catch you later.